So this is the first time I've had to get the, the police involved. I had a stalker. Part of our grid living is disconnecting from society as much as possible. I've always noticed that if I have a problem in life, it is always wrapped around people. Now, I, I recognize that I'm just not a social person. Unfortunately, I still have to make money. So in order to do that, I still have to deal with people. I could go out and work for an employer. Again, dealing with people, but that is face-to-face, -face, direct dealing with people or I can work on YouTube. And YouTube is just as bad. It, it can be just as bad. I mean, you constantly are dealing with people. Fortunately, 99.9999% of the time, it's just digitally. So really the only social media I deal with is, is YouTube now. And that's just so I can make income. It, it does really good. It's, it's a job where I can stay on this property and I don't have to associate face to face with people. Although it has huge downsides. I mean, don't get me wrong. Every job has huge downsides. I think I see the world a lot differently than pe other people. I see the world that I, I can change the things around me. So if I don't like people, I just get away from people. I can make my own rules and somehow I've always seemed to figure out how to, to accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. And I've done a, an enormous amount of cool stuff in my life. It, and I'm not bragging. I know some people are going to say, oh, you're just bragging. It's not bragging. I, I'm not bragging. I usually don't talk about this stuff. Dad said it the other day. He was talking about the submarine. I was on a submarine. He says, I don't know anybody that floated around in the Pacific Ocean in a submarine other than you. I have owned my own business. Ran my own company. I was able to homeschool my daughter. Uh, she went to college when she was 14. She got her master's degree. I think she's got two bachelor's degrees. I mean, she's just uber smart. And so I don't have too many regrets in life. I look at somebody else's accomplishments and I think one of two things. Wow, that's cool. Or boy, I really wish I, I could do that. A lot of people will take that, ooh, I wish I could do that, and turn it into jealousy. Now, my feeling of that jealousy is, is probably unique to other people's definition of jealousy. And as a matter of fact, until I got on YouTube, I didn't even know there was a different kind of definition for jealousy other than what I had. So when I'm jealous, it's like my girlfriend is flirting around with another person. And it's not really a jealousy for me. It's, hey, knock that off or we're through. And I always call that jealousy. And the reason I call it jealousy is because when you're growing up and people are defining words for you, teaching you what words mean, people will say, oh, she made me so jealous. Well, I don't ever feel the need to retaliate against anybody. They're definitely not the person flirting with my girlfriend. It's just between me and the girlfriend, you need to make a choice, either him or me. You can't have both. I've never had this furious red, glow thing that people talk about. Oh, I just saw red. I've, n I've never had that. And don't get me wrong, I've been angry before and I've been extremely angry before in my life. But I've always been able to at least maintain some control. I mean, you see some people, they get so angry, they just can't help but to throw a punch. I've always been able to avoid that except when I was in the ninth grade, I threw a punch. I got so angry, I threw a punch and he punched me back and it was over with. Went to the principal's office. But since then, I've always controlled myself. Even, no matter how angry I am, I've never felt this uncontrollable urge to do anything harmful. I can yell and scream a lot. So I don't understand that either. Now, the other thing I don't understand is hatred. I've used the word hate, and I will even describe myself as hating someone but not to the point that I'm out there to destroy anybody. I've never done that. I used to have a neighbor, old man, well, old man and woman, but I had more dealings with him, even though I think she was the root of all the problems. He was the one that always confronted us. But they would call the police on us. They cut, they cut down a tree we had. We, we planted a willow tree in our backyard, and they cut it down while we were gone. It, it was just, there was always harassment and always issues with them. One time he pointed a gun at my wife, my ex-wife now, my wife at the time. And I told everybody I hated him. 
but not to the degree that I was out to destroy his life. I wanted him to stop hurting us and harassing us, but it wasn't like I have to go out and destroy this man. I'm going to ruin everything about him. On the other hand, he did everything he could to ruin me. He went out and tried to destroy me in the public. He tried to destroy me with my family. It, it, so he had this hatred of, I'm going to destroy this person. I, I just never had that. And it's probably a disadvantage of mine that, that I have. So jealousy and hatred, I don't understand as well because I don't feel, I don't believe, I feel it the same way everybody else does. I will describe people in my videos and people in the comment section says, oh, he's jealous. And I'm like, well, why would you do that if you're jealous? You know, if you want a YouTube channel or you want to live off grid, then do it. Why is there this, I'm going to destroy you so you can't have a YouTube channel because I can't have a YouTube channel. Or I'm not going to let you live off grid because I can't live off grid. I've seen YouTubers not do very well on YouTube. And their whole idea is to destroy the people that have better channels than them. Uh, there's been a few like this. I don't mention their names because that just gives them ammo. And, and they will They'll come back at you if you mention them on YouTube. Uh, just tenfold, a thousandfold. They come with you with everything they got. And then they get their psychopath listeners, and that's what they are, psychopath listeners, to attack you and do everything they can. Dox, I don't know if you've ever heard that term, dox, doxing people. It's when you try to find people's locations uh, and you post it online to get people to, to harass you and, and destroy you. So these people are very jealous that your channel is doing so well and that instead of trying to do as well as you're doing, they try to drag you down. And that's all they know how to do. That They don't know how to do anything else. And the same thing with this off-grid living thing. I've noticed this a lot since we've been here. I didn't notice so much as a nomad. I don't think people really appreciated our nomadic life, but I did see other channels where people were jealous of them. Since their wife wouldn't let them, let's just destroy the people who are actually doing it. So I didn't see that too much as a nomad, but I do see it as off-grid living. And I'm actually kind of surprised by that. I mean, if you think about it, most people have a house with electric, air conditioning, a full-size kitchen, dishes, running water. All they got to do is sit there and watch their TV and cable. And they're jealous of a guy who lives off solar panels, off 1,200 watts of solar panels, some batteries, barely has enough electric to run his well pump and his freezer. He can't have a full-size computer because it takes so much lecture, so he has to do all his video editing on a tablet, you're gonna be jealous of me. You can literally, and it's just this easy, sell your house, buy a piece of property for $4,200, buy yourself a shed at Home Depot, and you could have my life. I've told the people how to have a simplistic life, and we're gonna be jealous of that. It's incredible how jealousy works, and so they will, do whatever they can to destroy me and it's gotten pretty serious now i know there will be people in the comment section that says just ignore the haters well i don't totally agree with that i've been on youtube what six seven years a long time and ignoring haters doesn't work they don't stop they can't stop until you do something to take action against them it's not trolls i mean trolls they come in they say something smart aleck and then they never bother you again. It usually happens with viral videos. About once a year, I'll get a video that does really well. You get tons of trolls, and you know they're exactly trolls. But the folks I'm talking about, I guess you could call haters, but you can't ignore them. You gotta stand up to them, because they're bullies, and they will do whatever they can to destroy you, to the point where you just want out of life. It's like, okay, I, I'm done, you're right, you win. You know, they want me to get off YouTube, they want me to get off my property, want me to relocate. I've seen YouTubers, huge YouTubers. I actually saw a family, a couple, with, and they just had a baby. And they were being harassed so bad by haters, they had to stop making YouTube videos. And there were a lot of people who enjoyed their content. So not only did they destroy the YouTube channel and the couple and the baby, they had no choice. I mean, it was getting dangerous for them. They had to also destroy the happiness of the viewers. 
And that's what is so strange about these, these haters, is they're so adamant that the YouTuber, the content creator, is such a bad person that they don't understand why anybody would watch your junk. And so they're trying to save you, the viewer, from watching me. You gotta stop watching this guy. He's going to harm you. That's the way they believe, it's incredible. I've always noticed my problems come from other YouTubers. These creators, and I don't even know what to call them. I mean, they call themselves, you know, the Messiah or something because they think they're special. But they start out trying to destroy channels. That's their whole objective is just to destroy a channel. And so their psychopath viewers come around and they, they start doxing you. They make millions of YouTube accounts and they subscribe all their accounts to your YouTube channel. So you think, wow, I'm doing really good. And then they start unsubscribing. And you think, oh boy, my channel. And so they want you to believe, this is how what they think, that I will stop making videos because I'm losing so many subscribers. The thing is, is I'm, I'm, I know exactly what they're doing. I know when they do it. I mean, they're so stupid that they do it at the same time every day. Uh, they remove four subscriber subscriptions at certain times of the day. Oh, I can't figure this out. How come I keep losing the same amount of subscribers every day at the same time? So I had to call the police the other day, yesterday. I don't want to give out too much information because this is just going to give other trolls, haters, opportunity. And I don't want to give them any opportunity. The other thing that tends to happen is regular viewers, viewers who love my channel, will read these terrible comments and start to believe these people. And you're like, how come after all this time you and I had a relationship and you read one comment from a hater and it's like, oh, I can't stand you. So it becomes a mob mentality after a while and it just, it, it snowballs and it gets worse. This is why you gotta address it. So a while back, I discovered somebody doxed me. Somebody found where I lived and was posting it online. So I, I tried to take some action I contacted Google and I also contacted the, the web page owner. Well, Google said, since they didn't use my name correctly, again, I don't want to give out too much information, and they didn't have my exact address, that they didn't consider it doxing. Although, they, I mean, it would have been quite easy for anybody to find me using the information that they, they provided. Well, then, I find that there's more post, and it gives more information. They know things about me that I didn't put out on YouTube. So I was actually thinking for a minute it was an actual family member, somebody who knows me. I mean, they were talking about my medical conditions, things that I've never talked about. I mean, I don't want to, again, give you too much information. When I say medical conditions, it's nothing serious. It's things, you know, that's happened to me in the past that nobody would have known about except family member or friend. There is a community, unincorporated area down the road from us. So Carolyn and I was talking about this this morning, this community and these haters. At the same time, it just came together and we made a connection. If somebody would say, hey, I, anybody got any firewood? I don't want to buy some firewood in a com Facebook community post. So the community down there has a Facebook page and this person, Carolyn noticed was saying yeah me giving my name at such and such address uh, across from the you know such and such building has a bunch of firewood I bet if you go over to his house you, he, he'll sell you a bunch or he's got chicken eggs I bet you if you went over there and asked and, and Carolyn was like well why would anybody do that now she was thinking it was somebody from the community well so today we were talking about the, the Facebook page and the doxing that has happened. And we noticed similarities. So I got on the Facebook page and I found out that the guy who was telling everybody to come to my place on the Facebook page to buy eggs or buy firewood was from a completely different state. Got his name, got his address, I got everything on him. I mean, this guy was so easy. Once I actually looked, it wasn't hard. He used his real name. So we've decided that the Facebook guy and the guy who doxxed me online is the same guy because he keeps saying the same stuff. 
So we called the sheriff. Now I told you in the past that our sheriff has been pretty good to us. He knows we're on YouTube. So this guy is, uh, he, he's nailed. He, he's been stalking us, he's been harassing us, he's doxing us, and this is against the law. There are state and federal laws that says you cannot stalk people online. So our sheriff is gonna, once again, go after somebody. And that's why I make these videos, because one, the sheriff tells me to. And two, I, I just want to brag. You guys are dumb. The folks who think that they can come after me because I make a YouTube video that you don't like are dumb. You're going to get in trouble. So you ought to knock it off. So if you click this up next box, take the video where I was talking about my well. So if I can inspire you to get through the tough times when you're living your dreams. Thanks for watching.